Hello everybody, Sven2k here, and in this video I'm gonna ramble about my desired variations for Jason in the video game Mortal Kombat X. Now I'm pretty hyped that Jason is gonna be in the game, uh, not as much because uh, Freddy is no longer going to be uh, in the game, that's kind of disappointing. Freddy vs Jason is uh, kind of a fan favorite among uh, horror movie fans, but what can you do? Now Jason as a character he's a zombie which is pretty much mortal uh, he walks slowly and well slashes people with a variety of tools most famously with his machete and that's pretty much it he's never shown any kind of like unique moves special powers which may uh, like uh, transition well to a fighting game and that kind of worries me so I want to talk about the desired variations I want to see him have so he can be a pretty unique character I don't want to I want him to be a very boring running Jason which relies just on uh, simple slashes and stuff like that I want him to be a bit more unique so as a character on his own I expect him to be extremely slow not be able to run uh, and have pretty ba pretty powerful uh, basic attacks uh, and be reliant on assists. All three of his variations are going to be reliant on assists. Now, I'll elaborate as I go on. Uh, for his first variation, I'd like to see his assist be Freddy Krueger. Oh my god, I know you guys want it. Uh, now, if you watch the movie Freddy vs. Jason, basically, in that movie, they, uh, uh, fight each other uh, how okay long story short Jason dies in his last movie Freddy uses then summons Jason and uses him as a puppet to scare people so they remember Freddy and so he can revive and then uh, I mean Jason ends up killing Freddy but and decapitating, decapitating him and carrying on his head in his hand. Uh, but Freddy turns out to be still alive. So here's the gimmick. Basically, Freddy, I mean, Jason is gonna make some attacks, but they're gonna be flukes. And instead of him actually making the full attack, uh, Freddy is going to make an attack. Still, uh, yeah, basically, uh, Freddy is gonna make the attack. And the gimmick is that Freddy wants the kill so he himself can revive. And not allow Jason to actually get the kill himself so that can that allows possibilities for some pretty cool stuff uh, in Mortal Kombat 9 Freddy had some pretty boring moves he wasn't as epic as he could have been he was like just reliant on his claws and stuff and since he's gonna be ahead well, if he's just as a assist that is since he's gonna be just ahead he won't have a body, so he will have to use his nightmare powers. And that's gonna allow some pretty crazy uh, stuff which can be done. Uh, as a, as basic, like as basic abilities, I expect him maybe to have like uh, Zatanna stun from uh, Injustice, where the character move to will move towards Jason. Uh, like, I ex like I said, I expect Jason to be a pretty hard hitter and be pretty slow, so he will need a way to close the gap between himself and the enemy. Uh, another ability would be like like making teleports, though Quan Chi has that now, so I'm not very sure how that's gonna work. Maybe make a teleport like somewhere in the middle uh, of the... Like yeah, maybe have like teleports like close to you in the middle and far end of the playfield. And when you like uh, an enemy like goes through it... Um, so let's say teleport behind Jason or on top of him, I don't know, something like that. But basically, let's say that Jason just charges up an attack, slashes enemy, uh, pushes him uh, across the screen through a teleport, and then he goes right back <laughs> to Jason so he can follow up with a uh, combo or do some other like cool attacks and stuff. <clears throat> so the possibilities are quite a bit. Uh, if not like the Thanos actually stun, something a bit more interesting can be like the character actually, uh, instead of walking towards Jason, he's going to walk towards Jason but actually walk um, at an angle and actually go in the air 
so he's gonna float and at the end of the duration he's like going to have a brief window where the ca like you still cannot do anything so that's gonna allow J uh, Jason to start off some kind of like interesting attacks maybe with the enemy like starting from uh, the sky not actually having you to use a launcher or something like that now for his second variation I'm kind of debating here, not very sure, uh, it's kind of stupid, but what if his second assist is actually Jason's mom, right? Oh man, that's so cringeworthy. Uh, well, she has helped him out in some of the movies. Uh, the first Ryan 13 movie, she was actually the slasher herself. So she being like present in, uh, in the game as an assist so won't be actually that bad of an idea since she has uh, showed up well, in several of the movies. Now, I don't think she's gonna be showing up as a zombie, though she might. But I expect her maybe to be in some kind of like spirit form. Maybe I can help out uh, with some damage. Maybe I'll actually give Jason some ranged powers. Instead of actually closing the gap between himself, he's actually gonna uh, be allowed to have like some kind of uh, powerful ranged attacks. Where... Uh, instead of the slash being made by Jason, it's gonna be made by his mom. Like, for example, imagine Jason's machete getting taken from his hand uh, by his mother and she actually, um, like, going through the screen and trying to slash the enemy, something like that. It's gonna be pretty crazy. Uh, it's gonna temporarily uh, lower Jason's damage because he's not gonna have the machete, but if he lands that uh, spirit, uh, that's holding the machete, it's gonna be pretty powerful. Or at least the machete version can be an EX move or something like that. Uh, I think it can be, can be pretty cool. <clears throat> now for the third variation, which I think it's gonna be one of the more unique and cool ones, is if you've watched Jason Goes to Hell, basically it's explained how Jason is immortal. When Jason dies, uh, people are attracted to his body. <laughs> Hold one second here. Right, they are attracted to his body and they start eating it and they become zombies. These zombies then uh, attack other people, die, infect like uh, the next person, etc, etc, until they find a relative of Jason and that, um, and that person revives as Jason himself. It's extremely stupid. I hated that part, that uh, plot, but as far as variations go, it can be pretty damn cool. Like, for example, imagine Jason temporarily dying and being like remove, removed from the playfield and be replaced with a zombie. Uh, this zombie is going to last uh, for a few seconds or until killed. Uh, the zombie is going to take a lot more damage and it's going to have a unique, unique moveset. And let's say that Jason has two or three types of zombies which he can summon. Uh, only one at a time, of course, which can replace, replace his body. So, the basic idea is that uh, Jason uh, doesn't have like any gap closers, any ranged moves. So, he's gonna be reliant on the zombies to actually uh, allow him to catch up to the enemy or dish out more damage. Like, for example, he can have like a very fast moving zombie. Uh, uh, maybe, let's say, uh, hmm, maybe a zombie which kind of like explodes on death, so you kind of force yourself to be as close to the enemy, but at the same time, the zombies' attacks themselves uh, push it back from the enemy, so you have to be pretty clever with how you use your, uh, uh, how you use your, like, attacks and stuff. And the third variation, I mean, the third zombie, I'm not very sure what it can do, but yeah, the possibilities are there. Uh, basically, this is gonna make Jason a bit more beefy as well, since uh, he's like the zombie's HP is not Jason's actual HP. Maybe if the zombie dies, then Jason will lose some life. Uh, and if the like zombie dies from uh, its timer running out, then Jason will not lose life. And that way, you have to play a bit like uh, defensively or offensively based on the zombie you've chosen. And I think that's gonna allow for some pretty cool gameplay, uh, make Jason not that kind of a boring character, and also allow Jason to actually run. Uh, since Jason is gonna be, not be doing the running itself, it's gonna be a zombie. So, 
Th so those are my desired uh, variations for Jason. Uh, they're going to hopefully make him a bit more unique and not be like some kind of boring I'm gonna slash, 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 this is another slash move, here's another slash move, ground stump, Ugh, boring shit which none of the fans would like to see. So yeah, please guys leave your opinions in the comment section and thank you very much for watching.